So I want to share with everybody something that happened and it might save you from having a major tragedy in your life. Hi, my name is Bob. On this channel, I normally do reviews. We look at different products, we look at the goods and the bads, but today I'm doing something a little bit different. I want to relate to you what happened to me probably almost a year ago, but I had to wait till all this went through before I could relate it to anybody else. And what I'm talking about is batteries. I use a lot of different batteries. DeWalt, Makita's. I'm like a lot of guys. I try to save money where I can. If there's something out there that's good and I can use it and it's a lot cheaper than a name brand, I'll try it out. But there's some things that aren't worth trying. And one is batteries. I purchased a off name brand battery off of the big Prime store. And when I purchased it, I thought this is great. For the cost of one of these batteries, I got four of the other ones. They were six amp batteries. I thought they were, would work perfect for my saw. They did, they clicked right. This is the saw I was using here. And they worked in there. They ran good. I didn't have a problem. I used one of them about six times. And what happened one day was when I was using it, I was cutting through about maybe five or six two by fours and the battery, the saw stopped working. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird because I just started using it. The saw wasn't hot and I checked the saw to make sure it wasn't overheated. It wasn't overheated. So I looked at the battery and like most of them on the back of the batteries, you have the, the gauge to tell you how full the battery is. So I pressed the gauge. It had two bars on it. And I thought that's kind of strange. So maybe it's just not in there good enough. So I took the battery out like I said, it was not a DeWalt battery. It was an off-name China battery. So I took the battery out, and this is exactly what I did. I looked at it, pressed the button just like this. I thought, well, it's got two bars, but boy, the battery felt really hot for some reason. So I turned around, and I set it down on the countertop. Now, I was working at a house, a professional uh, carpenter construction person, and I was working at a house that somebody was flipping, uh, putting in a kitchen. So I took it, the battery, set it down on the countertop, turned around, took two steps, and I heard a loud hissing. I thought, that's kind of strange. And when I did, I just started to turn around and the battery exploded. When it exploded, it was a big boom. My ears started ringing and fire started shooting out of the battery. I said, it's not this battery. It blew plastic and all sorts of bits of metal. And we counted, it was probably maybe 15 or 18 feet across the whole room. Black stuff everywhere on the walls. And when it did, it fell off the countertop and fell on the ground. And I ran toward the other room because it started just pouring out this white smoke. So instinctively, I looked at the thing and I thought, I don't want to burn this house down. It's not my house, it's somebody else's house. So I just grabbed the two by four and kind of like a hockey puck, just took it and the front door happened to be open that I was working because I was carrying tools in and I took it and I hit it and it went right out the front door into the lawn and I couldn't believe it. So I walked out there and the thing was still smoking then the smoke started dying down. The whole house was full of smoke and I was coughing because of the way it breathed. I thought this can't be good for you. So I walked outside in the breeze uh, where there was fresh air and took some few breaths put one of my masks on, went inside there, held my breath and opened windows up to kind of clear the air out of there because nobody was there, it was just myself working. So in the meantime, I had not really burns on my body, but you can tell where something had hit me. And uh, I just, I thank God that it didn't uh, hurt me. And what it could have been, seconds before, I had the thing right by my face looking at it, holding it to see how much uh, power was still inside the battery. I thank God it didn't blow up in my face or that fire started shooting in my face. It could have blinded me. It could have burnt my face or who knows what could have happened or burnt the house down. Here's what happened in the meantime. So I got a hold of the uh, customer service, which you know is not so easy to get a hold of, of the A company, you don't want to say the name right now, but and they were really good about the whole deal, but they said that go ahead and get a hold of the uh, person I bought it from, the seller. So I sent a whole detailed letter to them. This is what happens when you buy stuff, 
cheap no-name brand stuff off of other people. So they sent me an email back and here's what they wanted me to do. There was about four things they asked me to do. One, they asked how I felt, if I was hurting or if something happened. Um, and they said, if I feel bad, please go to a nearby hospital and get a full checkup. Well, I'm like a lot of you guys, self-employed, don't have health insurance, don't have the money to go to a hospital and to pay for that. And then they wanted to have me go there, have it checked up, and send them the report back to see if anything was wrong with me. Second thing they wanted me to do, they asked if I could get clear pictures of the saw I was using and the charger I was using to charge up their batteries. The third thing they wanted to do, which I couldn't believe it, they asked if I would, now remember this battery just exploded, caught on fire, and I'll show you pictures, and as you see the pictures here, you can see what the battery looked like. They wanted me to take the battery apart and see if I could see anything inside of it and take pictures of it. And the last thing they wanted me to do, because it seemed like my saw wasn't hitting full RPMs after I did that for some reason. I put in a new uh, DeWalt battery and it seemed just different. They wanted me to take the saw, take it to what they called an electrical maintenance personnel and have it checked out and then send them a maintenance certificate. Okay, well obviously I didn't do that because nobody's going to do that for free and this is just going to cost me more money out of my pocket. I'm sure they're just trying to protect themselves what they were doing. So long story short what happened was that after going back and forth with emails they finally said please get a hold of the big a company because they've got special insurance for that in case something happens well right away the a company customer service was good about it because they went ahead and reimbursed the money for the battery that was uh, that exploded and i told them what the other company wanted to do and they said please don't take that battery apart and keep it away with the other battery so that in case something's defaulted with the battery. Another thing that I gotta tell you about the battery, the battery was never dropped. It was never left out in water. I always take good care of my batteries. In fact, this is what I keep my batteries in. This zippered padded case that's got compartments. I keep all my batteries inside there because I know the importance of taking care of your batteries. I always make sure that these areas are clean. I keep them cleaned off. I don't keep dirt inside there. I clean off my tools, uh, the parts that connect inside the battery. So all that was good. It was just a defaulty battery. I think back if that house would have caught on fire, I would have been liable for the house. Or like I said, if it would have blinded me, that fire, after I read and uh, I went ahead and did a search on that, and sometimes that fire can get up to a thousand degrees and the white fumes is highly toxic. Uh, it can actually kill people. And there was a lot, I couldn't believe all the smoke that came out of it. And you can see the pictures of the battery. It doesn't look like a lot, but it was a lot of smoke came out. Like I said, it filled the whole house full of smoke. But anyway, the saw was almost new. So what ended up happening was the company that was their quote unquote insurance company, uh, all they wanted to do was pay back battery and pay back for the saw. Since there was no physical damage to me at the time, I just took it as God washed over me and protected me at the time from that. And I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, cheap China batteries, I don't buy them anymore. Other things, if there's a tool that I may find that I could save some money on, maybe like a little wrench or a screwdriver or something, I have no problem with that. But when it comes to something like, say, a battery, so I just can't say enough. Guys, just be careful out there. Uh, Take care of your batteries. If you drop them or something, I wouldn't bring them back inside the house. I'd put them out somewhere where in case they ever catch on fire. Guys, thanks for watching. If you want some good content on reviews and that, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Leave a comment. Have you guys ever had problems with batteries or do you buy those type of batteries? I understand we all want to save money, and, but tell me some of your stories that happened. I'd appreciate it. Just put down in the comment. And also give me a thumbs up if you would. I appreciate it. It helps out the channel and you guys take care and God bless.